Like most people I know, I grew up in a dysfunctional family, although we did have an additional side order of physical abuse. Education was my get out of jail card. Since then, nothing has destroyed my belief in the power of girls' education. But if the holy texts across faiths obligate us to help alleviate poverty, I can't help but think, where is faith's voice on the global civil rights issue of our time? What I realize is that faith's voice can be found in the hearts of the people in the trenches, like Father Paul in Uganda, Aziza Alhibre and Leili Miller Muro in the United States, Jessica Markowitz and Lori Toll in Rwanda, Rain Wilson in Haiti. People of faith fighting for girls' education. Girls like Sarah, Yosir, Marie, and Oradella, who dance with joy, sing with hope, study with intensity, and laugh without reservation and who blossomed as their minds were awakened. But with 31 million girls of primary school age not enrolled in school, we're going to have to find a lot more people or a lot more faith to help them achieve the beauty of their dreams. <laughs>